Right, hi everyone, happy Halloween to everyone. Uh, thought I'd do something completely different because I've been, done a lot of vids on the Martian Front war game and I haven't done any RPG based vids in quite some time. So I thought I would uh, cover this and this was one of the very best uh, British magazines from the 1990s. They were absolute wallies for um, uh, axing it because it's just such an awesome magazine. Uh, and it's arcane. Uh, it's just such a real shame that they, I really wish it was still around today. Uh, it deserved to be, to be honest, on the front. It's actually quite nice. Uh, how to run brilliant mystery games based on Exile Stars Conspiracy. Refereeing can be easy with the PC. Mounds of essential advice for all role players uh, and referees. And it's got other stuff that it's uh, covering in here. And uh, let's open this. Uh, I can't remember what was that visions. I just don't. I can't remember. I know I must have had it from there. God knows what it was exactly. Well, it probably says it's reviewed in this uh, magazine anyway. But uh, the first uh, page you come across is Daggerfall. This was um, January '97. This magazine, and there's Dragonlance. Fifth age there. It's always very nicely illustrated. Really nicely illustrated. That's the thing, it says there over the last nine months I've seen Arcane go strength to strength, will be around to stay. And yet shame that uh you know several months after that was posted in this magazine that they act they they just axed the magazine. But uh yeah I got news from nineteen ninety seven um white wolf stuff and and things. Uh, it's all the coming soon stuff and uh, Seymour J. Clancy uh, little thing there This is one of my favourite actually, and he's a local chap as well, the Andrew Ralstone. Dungeons and dumb Double Entry Bookkeeping. Let's have a, have a look through. Dice Master. Legends. Combat and Arcane Arts. Uh, let's see if there's anything really. <laughs> also, another advertisement for a game. No. Um, Star Trek role playing in here. I just love this magazine, and 
Then it gives you campaign ideas, as it said in the front, for an X-Files conspiracy type game. And it's just wonderful illustration there. I wonder what happened to the people that produce these games, the, 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 um, uh, this magazine. Not games, magazine. And then it goes, it's, it's got a lot of information there, uh, but it's also got historical models. So on the side, it's got some brief bit of information like Roswell, the Kennedy assassination, view the Triangle Secret Societies. It's got the games you can fit this into, um, Castle Falkenstein, I uh, can't see it there, but uh, Conspiracy X is the perfect one, Cyber Generation, um, that's uh, Cyberpunk 2020, uh, Don't Look Back, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay as well actually, surprising enough. It's nice looking back as well because uh, you, you see things and think, good God, I remember that. And then it goes, uh, you know, and this is what's another wonderful, all the artwork was great, great big joy and ant, and up the garden path. Tired of two dimensional worlds, fed up at useless maps, which tell you that there are elves here, treasure here, and drawers in the mountain. G Gideon Kibblewhite searches his backyard for some alternatives. So yeah. Then it goes to the role-playing game practically based around, uh, you know, sort of like, um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids sort of like thing. You shrunk down that small. And yeah, it's a interesting thing to do, actually. I did have a, um, from Droid Through My RPG called the Veggie Patch, and you're playing vegetables, magical vegetables, and, um, I found that as a little uh, quick role playing game because it wasn't that many pages. Quite a nice idea. Referee's advice as well. Actually, something I should actually reread. And that goes to a couple of pages. And it goes on to about to, uh, to with PCs and role playing as well. Look at it. look at the way a laptop used to be, right? And even. PCs from back then. Here is one of my favourite bits actually of the Hall magazine. Um, it was just wonderful they did this. Um, it's the Paul Out and Keep section and this one is to do with the casino. So you've got all that little bit of uh, information on it, and then you've got, which I've never took out, it is a four page, four, two pages worth of map. And, and there, for there as well, 
It's just really nice. well-constructed fantastic magazine just a shame this one's a little bit damaged in places and it's got the adventure the adventure sheet seats as well uh, the chips are down making it big uh, yeah. and make it big this can combine well with the previous adventure sheet just some of the party members particularly want to win from someone that has to keep playing until it's on the table I would incorporate this with a larger Mafia game which I, one day I will get that Mafia game up running and pl being played because I've been wanting to do one for several years I've never got round to it Mr Mega and Boris which is those two characters there I wish they'd bring it back. I honestly wish they'd bring it back. I didn't actually get every one of those, but I did have a fair, fair few. I know I had the Traveller one there, and the one with the that one next to it, and that one as well. I've had a few. Let's see another one of these arcane magazines around somewhere. It's interesting as well. Making over the mage. Uh, spellcasters not always given the attention they deserve in RPGs. Phil Masters, which is very well known name, works some magic of his own on these versatile characters. Just, just more fascinating stuff. It goes a couple of pages worth. And then you've got the PlayStation ad. Right, my darling. Dogs around. And it gives the reviews of games like Arx Makana 4th edition I don't know what edition it is at now Battletech a card game version of Battletech I don't know if anyone remembers some of this playing this uh, at this particular time I've got the drive through RPG of um, The witchcraft or something very similar X-Files collectible card game as well it's an amazing magazine Uh, source book for a major ascension book of worlds um, gave it 8 out of 10 there actually one earlier on witch calf which got 7 out of 10 that's uh, Arx Makana Fourth edition I actually got nine out of ten in this book, in this magazine. Uh, oh blimey! And even computer games, they uh, you probably can't see too well there. That's uh, forty-five quid back in the day for Blood and Magic.
and you can see card game called the Sabbath. So do Vampire the Masquerade. To me, sometimes it just doesn't feel that long ago. Then when I think, how long ago was uh, 1997? 17 years ago. <laughs> Surprising how times fly. All sorts of ads and stuff. Um, Arcane the Great Library. The FI Companion to Horror. Which is there. Quite appropriate considering what day it is. Chronicles of the Holy Grail and the Three Damsels. Mm. Oh, me. Just there. Captain's Log. Supplemental, oop, oop, for that, and the usual external stuff. Then it comes to the letters page. if you did send in a letter to Arcane it got published, I'd like to hear about it and what it was about and then free reader ads here and this is what, yeah uh, I've got to uh, show you this uh, DVD is here, it says test the first amazing next generation digital video player gives you a chance to be the first person in Britain to own one. Good God. Uh, it's just... <laughs> Blimey. Well, it was absolutely brand new technology. And it got... Name world die hard. Another classic uh, magazine. So, um, magazine. Sorry, um, comic strip. Yeah, definitely a classic magazine. One for me, definitely one of the very best uh, magazines of them in the in the market back in the time. Shame it did not survive. Um, uh, past bare, well, barely two years to be honest. Uh, real, real shame. It should have been, it should by all rights be still around now. Probably other magazines are around now that don't deserve to be, and this one definitely, definitely deserves to be. Uh, just amazing um, magazine. It's just some amazing stuff in it. And it's a shame it's gone, but there it is, Remembering Arcane Magazine. Uh, thanks for watching, till next time.